Just how do you show people what it's like to be in virtual reality? Valve, along with the help of some developers and skilled producers, came up with an answer earlier this year. Using a green screen and some video know-how, it was able to transpose players in the real world into the virtual world and display the result on screen. It is hugely impressive. And yet, despite looking it in the video, doing this sort of production work yourself is not only possible, it's surprisingly easy. At this year's E3, HTC showed off its own mixed reality solution, one that's easy to set up and bring around to events, and thus show everyone the wonder of being in VR without necessarily having to put a headset on. The only real stumbling block to mixed reality is needing a special version of a VR game, and there's talk that the functionality may be opened up to other developers soon. The way it works is simple. You take a camera that has a video output of some kind and strap a Vive controller to the top of it. That tells the game where the camera viewpoint is in relation to the player. The game then renders out a second viewpoint that matches that of the camera in the real world. Then all you do is overlay the green screen footage from the camera onto the game footage and hey presto, mixed reality. Okay, so there are a few things to bear in mind. For one, the frame size of the camera and the focal length of the lens will affect how the game renders the secondary image. Ideally, you want to match the field of view of the camera with that of the game. This special build of Space Pirate Simulator had the ability to change the field of view built into it, but hopefully more games will support the feature in the future. You also need a video capture card of some kind and a way to overlay the green screen footage onto the game footage in real time. Luckily, things like open broadcaster software will do that just fine and don't cost a single penny. You will need a suitably beefy graphics card too though in order to render that secondary viewpoint. Fact is, creating this sort of mixed reality footage is surprisingly simple, and for developers struggling to showcase how their games work in VR, it's a brilliant solution. Let's just hope Valve makes the tools available to all developers as soon as it can. Mm -hmm.